Today we are working on a 2011 Nissan Rogue and the conditions that we're seeing are a very, very rough idle. We also have a lot of misfiring and a ton of vibration. And the car is throwing a P0300 code for random cylinder misfires. So I've had this issue before on other cars, and it was typically the coil packs needing to be replaced. And so that's what we're going to give a shot on this car and see if it solves the problem. Now, while I'm working on this car, I'm going to be doing some other things, but I'm going to show all the parts that are required in order to change out the spark plugs and coil packs and verify that that solves the problem. So the first thing I'm doing is taking off the negative battery terminal since we're working on the electrical system. Now I have to get the air intake resonator duct out of the way because it sits over top of some of the coil packs. And so I've got a 10, meter, 10 millimeter bolt I've got to pull up and I've got to remove one vacuum line and loosen up one other screw to rotate the resonator over about 90 degrees. Now, like I said, I was doing some other work here, so that's why the electrical lines are out of the way. But uh, here I'm removing the coil packs. And I had previously removed the second from left coil pack to gain access to some of the electrical connectors. So here I've got the engine put back in the original configuration. And I'm going to be pulling out all the spark plugs at this point. If you're going to be doing this job, I highly recommend getting a magnet. It's extremely useful for pulling the spark plugs and if you drop a bolt or washer or nut somewhere. Now we drop the new plugs in, tighten them down by hand, and then torque them to 15 pound feet each. Yes, I do realize that this torque bar is extreme overkill at the size, and I was extremely careful doing this. I didn't really have a choice because my inch-pound torque bar, um, I really didn't want to send it up to 180 inch-pounds, give or take, because that would pretty much max it out. So my only choice between my the two that I have is to use the larger one and just be really careful with it. So now we're going to drop in four brand new coil packs and fasten them down. Now for fastening these, I elected not to worry about the torque spec. I basically just screwed them in with the drill set to about a four setting for the clutch. The only thing left to do in the engine compartment is to rotate down the intake resonator, secure the two 10 millimeter bolts, and put back on the vacuum line. And now for the moment of truth. So the idle's high because the computer's relearning, but it's nice and smooth. 
and there's no engine misfires while driving or vibration and no codes.